Hey guys, it's Heidi. Welcome back to my channel. And yeah, which, um, yeah, I hope you guys have had a restful, peaceful Sunday. Um, yeah, mom came with me to church today. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm pleased about that. Because I have been asking her a long time to come with me to church. And she finally agreed to come with me. So she liked the preacher. We've got a new preacher. So she liked him. Liked his way of preaching. And yeah. So yeah. It was church this morning. And then this afternoon a friend came around to come and have coffee. So that's good. And my brother had made us a really nice supper, so that was really nice. He always cooks for us on a Sunday, and he really does cook really nice. He makes the nicest roast potatoes. Ooh. Anyway, um, okay, so what's happening with mom and me and Snowy? Um, Mom's got a doctor's appointment tomorrow at the clinic, so she's got to be there quarter past eight. Um, doctor's appointment is quarter past nine. They've got to be an hour early so they can do the blood pressure and whatever else they do. Um, yeah. So I'm going in with her to the doctors because I need to hear what this doctor's got to say. Um, yeah. And then on Tuesday, we're going through to George, to the PDSA. Um, so that we can get Snowy's blood tested, just to see, uh, is has she got diabetes or possibly cancer or whatever? I don't know. Um, whichever, we're just going to try and make her as comfortable as possible. She's not in any pain, so that's good. Um, her weight has started to pick up. Uh, yeah, uh, she doesn't as a a young dog, she didn't really like me to pick her up. She was very bouncy and she liked to run and jump and that kind of stuff. And when we went walking, she was the one that was dragging whoever was at the other end of the leash. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's how she is. And she still is like that today. Um, so, when I picked her up yesterday... Picked her up in my arms. Um, yeah, she's getting a little heavier. So, and I had a look to see. And she is picking up a little bit of weight in her waistline, if you could call it that. Just on the, I can see along her back, just above her back legs, that area. Um, she has picked up a little bit of weight there, so, which I'm pleased about. Because... I really, I pray over Snowy every single morning and evening. And, yeah, that's, that's what I do. Anyway, so, yeah, we will go to the PDSA and see what's going on with her. And then I'm going to go and have my wheel alignment done. And so that's good news. Um, yeah, there was a bit of strange... Something strange underneath my car. I saw that yesterday. And I thought when I got back from the blessing boxes, I thought, well, I will um, get my brother to have a look at it and see what it is. And then I forgot. So, of course, on the way to church this morning, I s suddenly started thinking about this and thinking, I wonder what that is. So it looked like a piece of shade cloth that was around the... Um, I think it's the exhaust something. I don't know what. Anyway, um, so when I got to church, I spoke to another friend there. And I just told him, I said, listen, there's a pipe under my car coming from somewhere, going somewhere. And it looks like it's got this piece of shake cloth around it. I know it's not shake cloth. It's, I just don't know what it is. So after church, he went and had a look. And he says it's nothing um, serious. It's just something that's some netting that's coming loose that's over a pipe. And, yeah, so 
nothing to worry about, I thought, well, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm still planning this West Coast thing. I have asked God to please give us warmer weather. And also that the wind won't blow. <laughs> I don't do well in the wind. Um, wind and rain, I don't do well in those two weather conditions. And, of course, heat. I don't like heat. So, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to wait and see what happens. A lot of people are a little bit upset with me or more concerned for my mom's well-being, which I can understand. I really do understand it. And they say you cannot get your mom to sleep in the car. And, you know, you mustn't go now. And they've got very good intentions or... Yeah, something like that. You know, I know where they're coming from. But I have this, I'm getting the same feeling that I need to take mom on this trip to the West Coast. She wants to see the flowers. She wants to go see the fisherman cottages. And I want to let, make this trip happen for her. Um, whether we will leave on the date that I've had in my mind for a long time or whether we will leave a little bit later, I do not know. It all depends on what's happening on this um, this doctor's appointment tomorrow. So, yeah, they might only be able to do the uh, book mom for a scope in September or even October. Who knows? I don't know. So, and just, yeah, we're just hoping for something that they can sort something out for her. Um, yeah, but in any case, um, yeah, mom said the catheter in for quite, whoopsie, quite some time. Um, sorry guys, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so it looks like she will probably have that catheter for, for some time to come. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, um, yeah, so we went to church, mom came with me, told you about PDSA, I think. Yeah, then we found out what's happening with Snowy, getting my wheel alignment done, people are upset with me because I want to take mom to the west coast. Yeah, anyway, it's, we'll see, I've left it all in God's hands, so we're definitely going to just leave it. Uh, Leave it in God's hands and see what happens. Well, we see. Tomorrow we'll definitely know which way. Um, yeah. So. Anyway, that's about it. So, guys. Oh, and I've been waffling on for eight minutes. Okay, guys. I'm going to cut it off here. And, yeah. Um. I don't know, did I say welcome to my subscribers? Welcome to my subscribers. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. It really means a lot to me. And so one of my subscribers asked me about me receiving funds from overseas. Um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and see the bank on Tuesday and see what needs to be done and I'll send an email back to you. You know who you are. And I really do appreciate it. I, it really means a lot to, to us, to both mom and myself. And yeah, mom's name, by the way, is Kathy. <laughs> so yeah, I don't call her on her name. I call her mom. More often than not, I call her Mudirki, which in Afrikaans, translated into English, it means a little mommy, you know. So, because she really is, she's short. She's only four foot something. Um, yeah, I'm just on five feet. And she's about this much shorter than me. Yeah, not quite a head, but maybe, yeah, she probably comes to about here with me. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, now I'm just waffling. Lots and lots of love. Bye.